Multi-factor authentication is the use of multiple categories of independent credentials to verify your identity. Typically, the categories are something that you know, something that you have, and something that you are. Now, something that you know could be a password or a PIN. Something that you have might be a, a cell phone or a, a key card. And something that you are is a fingerprint or your face or your retinas as scanned by a biometric reader. MFA makes it very difficult for someone in a faraway land to impersonate you. An attacker might discover your password, but if multi-factor authentication is enabled, it won't be of any use to them without your fingerprints. We can't stress this highly enough. Enabling MFA is the most effective thing that you can do to secure your computing environment. Some estimates indicate that MFA would prevent 99% of successful phishing attacks. Remember the case study from our first lesson, the one in which a hacker gained access to a person's email and then tried to redirect payment of a fairly large invoice? Well, that hacker would have never gained access if MFA had been enabled. Surprisingly, in the Microsoft 2021 Digital Defense Report, they write, it is shocking that less than 20% of our customers are using strong authentication, such as MFA, which is free to our customers and can be turned on by default. And remember back to the bear joke that started this training session. The folks who have enabled multi-factor authentication are like the hikers who are going to outrun the others in order to avoid being attacked by a bear. I know that I'm laying it on really heavy here, but the point is enable MFA. Work with your network administrator, whether that's someone on staff or a consultant like EXP Technical, to make sure that multi-factor authentication is enabled everywhere.